Hi there, everybody. It's Richard McMahon from the Psychometric Testing Company, HowToBecome.com. And in this next training video, we are going to focus on non-verbal reasoning test questions and answers. So just before we get into the questions themselves, a very quick warm welcome from me. That's me there on the right hand side, Richard McMahon. And today, as I say, we are focusing on non-verbal reasoning tests. So the video is going to be fun. I'm going to give you a tutorial on how to tackle, tackle these questions and get them correct. And then I'm going to get you guys to have a go as well. So please, as always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel by clicking the red button below the video. That way you won't miss out on any of the weekly videos that I'm creating. And also, if you do like this video, please um, do give it a thumbs up. I would very much appreciate that if you did like the video. Okay, straight into it. Nonverbal reasoning test question number one. Which answer shape is not a rotation of the example shape? So that's the example shape on the left-hand side. And these are the answer shape options. We've got A, B, C, or D. Now, how do we tackle this question? It's relatively simple. So what we do is we focus on the circle there. And then we decide which of them it's still relevant to when we rotate the example shape. So it's the same as A, same as B, and the same as C. But if you look, sorry, same as D. But if you look at C there, that one is in a different place on the shape. Therefore, really simple, the correct answer to that question is C. Okay, you guys have a go at question number two. So please put your answer to question two in the comments section below the video for marking, and I'll come on here each day and mark them for you. Now, I've put a timer on the right-hand side. That bar there is your timer. And you have 12 seconds to answer this next question. It's quite tough. But which answer shape is a rotation of the example shape? Which answer shape is a rotation? Okay, and there's only one answer. So is it A, B, C, or D? So here's the timer. You've got 12 seconds to work it out and put your answer in the comment section below. Okay, well done. Hopefully you got that correct. Question number three, which answer shape is a rotation of the example shape? So let's have a look at another one. So this is a little bit more confusing. There's the example shape and then we've got the five options. Now upon first inspection, we look at these and it, they just look a blur. However, this is how to tackle this kind of question. All you do is pick two parts. Just choose two parts on the example shape. And then if you think about rotating that shape, whether you rotate it to the left or the right, they, they have to be in that position there, bottom left and top right. And the only one they are there, those shapes, is D. So just like I say, when tackling this, choose two parts. So top left, bottom right, and then rotate it in your mind. And they have to be there in that position. Well, they're not on A, they're not on B, they're not on C, but there they are on D. Therefore, the correct answer to question number three is D. Okay, you have a go now. Please put your answer to question four in the comments section below the video for marking. Here we go. Which answer shape is a rotation of the example shape? There's the example shape. Is it A, B, C, or D? And you have the time. It takes the timer to go down to zero to put your answer in the comments section below. Thank you. Okay, brilliant. Question number five. This is a different type one. It says now, which answer shape is the next one in the series? So these are the answer shapes, A, B, C, or D. So we have to work out which of those four goes there, where the question mark is. So this is relatively simple to work out. All we have to do is to look at the different options. So you'll see that there's a circle in the center there, a white circle, then it's black. And the last one is black, which means that one there has to be white. So the only real options that we have there are A, C or D. Because B has a black one in the center, that's no good. Next one, what we do is we look at those fans on the outer side. You've got one there, then you've got two in the next one. And on the fourth one, there's four, which means on the question mark one, there'll have to be three. Okay, so therefore, the correct answer is A, because they are also alternating shape. They're going black fan, white fan, black fan, white fan. So the correct answer is A. Question number six. Now it's your turn. Please put your answer to question six in the comments section below the video for marking. Here we go. Which answer shape is the next one in the series? Is it A, B, C or D? And you have the time. It takes the time to go to zero to put your answer in the comments section below. Here we go.
Okay, brilliant. Well done. Carrying on. Question number seven. This is a different kind of non-verbal reasoning test question. Using the vertical mirror line, and I'll show you what that is in a second, which answer shape is a reflection of the example shape? So you've got the example shape there on the left, and then you've got the answer shapes, A, B, C, or D. So that is the vertical mirror line. So we look at the example shape, and then we have to just look at it in the mirror and decide which one, A, B, C, or D, is the correct answer. So it's quite obvious, if we draw a line there in B, we can see that it is a direct reflection of the example shape. Therefore, the correct answer to that one, really simple, is B. So I'd like you to have a go at this type of question now. So please put your answer to question 8 in the comments section below the video. Using the vertical mirror line, which answer shape is a reflection of the example shape? So there we go. Is it A, B, C or D? And on the left, that is the example shape. Here's the timer. OK, fantastic. Question number nine. Have another go at this one. Please put your answer to question nine in the comments section below the video. Using the vertical mirror line again, which answer shape is a reflection of that example shape on the left? Is it A, B, C or D? And here's your timer. OK, well done. Brilliant. Now, if you would like some more of these test questions, I have put a link to another non-verbal reasoning test video right here on YouTube where you can try some different ones. Also, if you want to get some free psychometric tests and non-verbal reasoning test questions on my website, either go to the website um, mypsychometrictests.com or click the link directly below the video and you can get direct access for free to my online test. Guys, thank you for watching. Um, I love making these videos for you. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and um, I look forward to teaching you on the next video. Thank you for watching.